Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have an exciting program to discuss launched by the New Brunswick and federal governments. This program is very helpful for individuals who wish to move to Canada. This video will provide all the details about the New Brunswick Critical Worker Program. It's a brand new program designed to facilitate immigration to Canada. This program is unique and special because it doesn't require an LMIA, Labor Market Impact Assessment, or an ECA, Educational Credential Assessment. This means you don't need to undergo an educational assessment or provide proof of funds. Also, there is no age limit for applicants interested in moving to Canada through this program. If you are selected or receive an invitation, you will also be provided with settlement services when you relocate to New Brunswick from your country of residence. Today, we will focus on the New Brunswick Critical Worker Program, which only applies to the province of New Brunswick. New Brunswick is one of three provinces grouped as part of the Maritime Provinces, along with Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. It's worth noting that New Brunswick is the only province in Canada with two official languages, English and French. Due to its low population, New Brunswick faces a significant demand for new immigrants. Consequently, the government has introduced the Critical Worker Program to handle this need. Now, let's discuss the program in detail. But before we proceed, if you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing to stay updated with the latest news, tips, and tricks about immigration. We aim to empower individuals and make them self-reliant. From the program's name, the Critical Worker Program is designed to fulfill the high demand for critical workers resulting from New Brunswick's low population. It is a five-year pilot program to address labor shortages in different sectors and regions across the province. The program aims to attract skilled workers to traditionally challenging occupations in New Brunswick. This program is a collaborative effort between the provincial government of New Brunswick and the federal government. Both levels of government joined forces to tackle the labor shortage issue in New Brunswick. The program was introduced on November 7, 2022. Under this program, the government has selected six employers based on their fair hiring and recruitment processes. Let's discuss these six employers one by one. The first employer is Cook Aquaculture, a prominent company involved in marine farming. Their seafood products are renowned throughout North America. You can visit their official website for more details. The second company selected by the government is J.D. Irving Limited. This company operates in various sectors, agriculture, construction, consumer production, food, forestry products, retail and distribution, shipbuilding, fabrication, transportation, logistics, and more. Established in 1882, J.D. Irving Limited has been in the market for 140 years. The third employer selected by the government is Group Savoy, a leader in the hardwood industry specializing in hardwood products and components. Visit their website for further information. The fourth employer is Group Vesco, which specializes in poultry farming, supplying eggs, meat, chicken, turkey, and related products. The fifth employer is Imperial Manufacturing Group, a manufacturing company that produces metal and plastic heating components, air conditioning systems, ventilation systems, and building products for residential and commercial use. The sixth employer is Meccan Foods Limited, a global provider of fine potato products, particularly pre-fried French fries and frozen potatoes. The program's main objective is to attract international workers to address the labor shortage within New Brunswick. If selected, you will receive a work permit, which will eventually help you obtain permanent residency in Canada. Now let's discuss the benefits of the New Brunswick Critical Worker Program. Firstly, you will receive settlement services from the six employers mentioned earlier. These services include assistance with housing, transportation, schooling, and community services. The employer will help you find a place to live and cover your transportation costs from your home country to Canada. Additionally, the program provides language services, offering 200 hours of language training if you face any difficulties with English or French. Moreover, the employer will provide the necessary training for your job. You can also bring your family with you, allowing your spouse to work in Canada on an open work permit while your children will be eligible to study in Canada. Furthermore, 
educational support will be provided if you wish to pursue studies in Canada. Now that we know the program, let's address the most important question. How do we apply to these companies and enter Canada? To apply, you must prepare your resume and cover letter in Canadian format. You can find a link in the video description to help you prepare your resume and cover letter accordingly. Once you have these documents ready, you can visit the official websites of the six companies. Look for their careers section, where you will find a list of job openings for which they seek employees outside Canada. Review the required skills and job requirements. If your profile matches, you can submit your application through the website. Alternatively, you can search for contact information on their websites and email your resume and cover letter to the HR department. Another option is to follow these companies on LinkedIn, where you can find job openings and apply directly through the platform. You can also connect with individuals working for these companies to establish contact. Lastly, you can explore job portals such as Indeed and JobBank to search for job openings by these employers. Let's take a live example to illustrate how to apply to these companies. Open your browser and search for J.D. Irving. Visit their careers page and explore the current job openings. Click on a specific job posting, such as Maintenance Technician. Review the job details and responsibilities. If you believe you are a suitable candidate, click Apply for the Job, follow the instructions to create an account, and upload your resume and cover letter. Similarly, you can search for Imperial Manufacturing and explore their career opportunities. Select a job opening that interests you, review the details, and apply by providing your contact information, education, work experience, and the required documents. You can repeat this process for the other employers listed by the government, searching for their job openings and applying accordingly. We hope you find this information helpful. Our goal is to provide useful content to help you learn and become self-reliant. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.